Well, tonight, a focus on public safety within Nashville schools. Good evening and welcome to News 2 Now at 10. I'm Bob Mueller. And I'm Haley Wilgus. In the wake of the Covenant shooting, Metro Council is holding meetings to hear what Nashville police, teachers, and community members want to see done to keep our students safe. News 2's Adam Mincer reports on the biggest takeaways from tonight's meeting. Tonight, Metro Council members asking the question, what more can be done to keep Nashville students safe? Nashville is now among cities across the nation afflicted with a mass shooting at a school. For the first of three Metro Council meetings on school safety, MNPD, Metro Schools, and a private school representative discussed what is and isn't working. One request from Metro Schools, more physical protections from firearms. While there are a few practical levels of security that can completely stop someone with a weapon of war from gaining access to our buildings, we can make it more difficult. The request for shatter-resistant film is one Councilman Syracuse says he's working to find money for as council prepares to vote on the budget soon. The other request, funds to improve officers communication equipment in schools. It's one Lieutenant Jason Bicanzo says is crucial. As we started to notice that there were some communication issues with our portable radios for officers. Well, obviously that's not only officer safety issue, but it's a public safety issue. Also discussed school resource officers. Metro has had problems with SRO vacancies, meaning some middle and high schools haven't had an SRO every day. But police say they're expecting that to change. Chief Drake has committed that September of this year, each and every middle school, MMPS middle school and high school will be staffed with an SRO, which is what we had traditionally done years ago. Metro schools did say they're still not planning on having armed officers in elementary schools, but are working to have unarmed safety ambassadors there instead and Metro officers outside the schools for additional safety. That, that's going to give us a lot of data and information around what the next phase of this work will look like. Also discussed tonight was instituting a universal key for police to have access to private schools in Nashville like there is for public schools. But this is just the first of three meetings on public safety. The next one is next Wednesday evening at Hillsborough High. Haley.